Rudetad the Bad lived in a lair off the coast of Russia, but you couldn't tell it was Russia by the looks of it. It just looked like a stupid little shack with a bunch of benches and stuff. Anyway, Rudetad the Bad was so bad because he was drinking all the time. He never stopped, and when he did, it was just to sleep, or pee, or eat. But even then, he sometimes found workarounds. Point is, he was a badass that you didn't want anything to do with. Unfortunately for Joey, this was unavoidable. Rudetad was Joey's father's brother's sister's aunt's uncle's cousin's gerbil's brother's owner's mother's eighth cousin. Removed. Since Rudetad was the only living relative that Joey had left, he was forced to live with this distant relation of his. Joey tried to ignore the fact that Rudetad had killed off all the relatives linking himself to this rather rude excuse of a dad and instead focused on trying to stay alive. Rudetad the Bad was consistently attempting to kill off Joey. Why, Joey could never deduce, but when, how, and where he could always seem to predict in the nick of time. One day, Joey was walking along some stupid path or something when suddenly he felt that he was yet again the target of his uncle of sorts. He ducked just in time to dodge an arrow that lodged itself in a small tree nearby. Joey called out to Rudetad and said, You're retard, Uncle Rudetad. I know you're bad, but you're never gonna off this lad. So one day, when Rudetad the Bad was especially drunk, Joey asked his uncle of sorts why he so desperately wanted to kill his own flesh and blood. Rudetad declared then and there that it was unfair that Joey should bear the burden of the foot. Indeed, unfair that anyone should carry the foot. For it was Rudetad the Bad that had caused the fuss about the foot in the first place. Joey was confused and made it quite obvious that he was perplexed by all this talk of feet. So Rudetad explained the story about how he went hunting with his great uncle's wife's niece's brother once upon a time and accidentally shot the foot off of the poor fellow. He bled to death right then and there and since then Rudetad had a foot to bear. In his pack he kept it and in his pack it stayed. And Rudetad the Bad won't let the burden stray from his own back. So he'll kill whoever's next in line to inherit the curse of the foot. So Joey told his uncle of sorts how bad could it be? He opened the sack and then almost fell back. Oh, the stench was an anvil falling on his nasal. He was sick for a minute and made friends with a bucket. But when he was done, he asked, Only one? And Rudetad the Bad confirmed his query. And then he developed a drunken theory. Maybe this boy could stand the fort. Maybe he could do a lot. More than I at first thought. I could give him the foot. So Rudetad the Bad proposed this plan, and Joey did humor this man. For between the foot and death, Joey didn't waste the breath, trying to coax his way out of carrying a foot. And one day, Rudetad the Bad breathed his last, and finally Joey tossed that pack. He pitched that foot, and with a woot, he proceeded to bless his uncle of sorts' death. And he lived happily, footlessly ever after.